episode 83 was a very interesting one for a lot of reasons, right? One, it did it's doing really well as far as like an episode that's performing like just well or not. And I feel like it has everything to do with our title and what partially we, we talked about during this episode, which was this whole debacle, not debacle, it's it's just what it is. It's superhero is before end of Z, right? Right. Well, to some people, there's still a lot of confusion and certain things aren't adding up for everybody. Now, I guess I wanted to just take a little bit of time to maybe just clarify more, if, if that's even possible. I honestly, I'm not trying to sound like a dick. I don't know how much more clear we can really go, right? Listen, listen, all we need to do to really get the point across is just put a picture up there of a fucking timeline and just show them the events and you know like chronological order that would be kind of genius yeah yeah All these goons yeah <laughs> <laughs> well so here's the thing right you say goons right granted there are definitely goons there are definitely some some goons that's the that's there the nicest some. way to put it <clears throat> but there are also some folks that we had that i've seen in the in the comments that just you can get a sense of a genuine confusion right and to those people i took some time while i was working of all times to respond to as many comments as i could and that's what i'm getting this 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 feel because you know people you can really get a sense out of how someone's trying to talk to you based on what they say and you can tell when someone genuinely is curious and they're genuinely trying to learn something, they genuinely want to know, right? And then there's others that you just, just like, I'm going to give you one chance. And then after, if based on what I say or based on something that, my, that Kai might say, or even Kronos, shout out to Kronos. Kronos over here literally always tries to mediate with people. Sometimes not everybody gets the full picture. So again, I'm going to give everybody the benefit of the doubt here. Okay. I'm going to play the devil's advocate yet again. And even though this is something that, you know, this is something that, you know, we all know. Okay. Because I feel like in a time like this, right? Cause I understand people are really excited while they're also trying to just figure all of this shit out and to reiterate we don't there there's no there's really no favoritism as far as like like i guess the the, the easiest way to say this is we don't really hate gohan <laughs> okay that is the easiest way to put it just just all jokes aside no bullshit we actually don't hate the character. This doesn't just have to do with Gohan. This is just the whole thing with the superhero and its continuity placement, right? So again, for the whatever hundredth time that we've talked about this, superhero takes place sometime after the most recent arc in the manga. What we just saw, everybody, you know, the, the last impression the last bit of anything that people uh want to talk about is black frieza black frieza right but really that was the granola arc <laughs> right black frieza essentially kind of like has a separate ability it wiped everybody's memory clean <laughs> they don't they don't remember nothing else all right which is funny in and of itself um but superhero takes place after this okay now, some that might wonder, well, how is that, you know, like, how is that possible? Because based on context and based on certain pieces of dialogue that might have happened or did happen in the movie, there's no clear indication or like it's not very clear to them that this movie is like canon or whatever. Right. 
So, and this is where this manga is coming in, okay? The manga, this new arc that's starting on December 20th, okay, is supposed to do just that. It's supposed to essentially prime superhero and give superhero like a nice cushion spot in the timeline. Despite, we don't need that. I'm just going to put that out there. We don't need this arc that's coming up to explain that. Okay. We don't even want this arc. That is the truth. <laughs> that is actually the truth. Okay. Kai said it last week that this this man's over it before it even started. Okay. That that much is true. You, you I, I don't have to say nothing. Okay. <laughs> you just don't. Okay. So to, to continue, right? As another reminder, or maybe for those that maybe just didn't know, because I know that there are some of you out there, and that's fine. Um, Superhero, the movie, right, was scripted before the last two arcs that we got in the manga. Okay? Now, when I say it was scripted before, that does not mean that the movie itself takes place before. See, I feel, no, I feel like that's where... Ladies. Bringing, bringing that into the conversation early is what I feel that that's where confusion arises, right? Yeah. So if, if I may, let's, Go let's ahead. run this, let's run this back. Let's run this back to the, to the timeline idea, right? So when we're talking about the hero, I'm going to refer to it for right now as the hero movie, because Toriyama made a mistake with super, 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 he got to relax. So <laughs> I'm going to refer to it as the hero movie for right now. So with these events, when we say that this takes place before the end of Z, we are not talking about like, oh, it takes place during the Majin Buu arc. No, we are talking about Majin Buu happens. And then after that, everything we know in Dragon Ball Super, the anime, the manga, all that shit is taking place. Now, even before then, if you want to be super technical for zero reason, Battle of Gods was a Dragon Ball Z movie. They titled it that way. So yes. technically speaking, Beerus got introduced in the Z saga. This is still after the events of Majin Buu. This is also still before the last episode where that tournament takes place during the time skip. This mm. is what we are referring to by it takes place in the end of Z. Before the yes. end of Z. Because we are yes. talking about before that tournament, before that time skip, after everything we're familiar with in the Majin Buu arc. So now that we've been over that... We're talking about the stuff that fits in between. What is the stuff that fits in between? That is everything that has happened since 2015, which is all super stuff. Everything in the exact way it's been released from Beerus to Universe 6 to Black to T.O.P. to everything in the manga, Moro, Granola, Black Frieza, and then Superhero. Don't forget Broly. And then right before Superhero, yes, Broly, thank you. Sorry about that. And yeah. then right before Superhero, we have this nonsense <laughs> the manga arc this yes this upcoming goten and trunks manga arc right and that makes no sense when you think about that order it makes no sense it's like okay well but that doesn't line up because this happens over here and why does this person not show this okay these are happening because like uchi was trying to say the writing process for the movie which just came out took place before all of the most recent events in the manga chapter that just completely clash with each other. They right. clash with each other because they were two completely separate stories by two completely separate people written at opposite format time. So the movie was written first and came out after. There it is. There it is. That was beautiful. It's not supposed to make sense. It's not going to make sense. And we're not trying to make to make it make sense. We're just trying to explain the order and explain how we got here in the first place. It's still fucked up. Brandon? That was great. Oh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> you want to drive, Kai? You got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. I was just so tired of seeing, like, because, like, I understand there's some people out there that, like, they they really just don't understand and they want to understand, and that's cool. I like it. I I. I totally want to help them get it. But the thing that we need to let go of is trying to understand how we can make it make sense because it's not going to. No matter what we do, it's not going to make sense. They wrote themselves into a hole for the 100,000th time and we just got to hold it. Yeah. 
Yep. And to go off of that, um, the other thing that I wanted to also like reiterate to everyone again is that when you try to make like when you try to make all sorts of sense of it, you're going to some of you might confuse yourselves, which then causes more, you know, frustrations and whatever. And one of the things specifically, right, are some of those folks that have noticed that they are trying to do too much. And we've talked about this multiple times. And it to a point where I actually went back and figured out the actual years within, you know, Dragon Ball and whatnot. And, you know, like it's like age, whatever age, like they don't say year. They, they say like age, like 490, whatever, whatever. Right. Um, And keep in mind, guys, Dragon Ball Super is technically Dragon Ball Z. Right. OK. Why is that? It's because of the placement, okay? Dragon Ball GT, fun fact, originally was supposed to take place within this 10-year gap. But before it came out, Toei decided, let's not do that. Let's make it after the end of Z, which, of course, makes a lot more sense. And, I mean, who knows how that would have went. You guys, I, I honestly, I would not just, I would not try to speculate that because... That is pointless. I will just say that. Don't do that. Okay. You want to talk about GT? We talk about GT. But don't try to imagine how it could have been. Because right now we're we're getting what was originally intended for GT, except it's in the form of Super. Okay. So Dragon Ball Super literally takes like you can't have Super without Z, if that makes sense, because Z already happened. As we know it, Z has been finished since the mid '90s in Japan. So, with this, with the last few chapters of Dragon Ball Z, because you know the defeat of Majin Buu happens, and then there's the ten-year time skip. So stop, ten-year time skip. That's super. Then, it's this the meeting of everyone else. It's the tournament. It's oob. It's the it's the finale. It's that's it. It's done. That's that's Dragon Ball Z. And then you turn your TV on. You step into the Grand Tour. Okay. And that's how Grand that tour, goes. Grand Tour. Right. Okay. <laughs> and that's how it goes. The song is godlike. I don't care what people say. Okay. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Did you like that theme song? GT. It was, it was like I was hard. I think it was hard. I thought it was hard, yeah. and then later on, I got into that. I liked it. You know, it's our it's our ending theme song here. If you yeah. didn't already notice, right? So yeah, I mean that's kind of everything. And, and with well, well, one last one last thing to add to that is with yeah. this final Toriyama statement that we went over saying that you know everything is officially one continuity. There are no separate ones. None of that, right? It's all the same. It's all the same timeline now. That means that. Of course, we're not talking about GT anymore, but Z, Super, Hero, these most recent movies that came out, all of this is Dragon Ball Z. Yes. All of it. All of it. Yeah. They they're not gonna they're they're not they're not you're not gonna catch them saying that. All you're no. gonna catch them saying is that Super takes place within the 10 year time skip of Dragon Ball Z after the defeat of Majin Buu and before the last uh uh Tenkaichi Budokai that right. they had <clears throat> that Oob makes his original debut. But for those that may not have known, which you actually didn't know until we said it on one of the recent episodes, Oob makes a cameo appearance in Super. Yeah. Uh, and is l quite literally the reason why they were able to defeat Moro, which is fucking insane. Let's not forget about that because it definitely happened. Okay? So... That, with with that, I'm hoping that people understand better now, okay? It has not, like, all of these events, they have nothing to do with people's power levels, okay? That part, I saw some of y'all trying to throw into the conversation, like, power scaling and 
why is you know why would why would it be a, the way it is because gohan has his beast form but then obviously at the end of z he wasn't even in the tournament well that's that's not an us problem <laughs> that's a toei and toriyama problem okay because they're the ones that decided to write all of this the way that they did and that is also part of the reason why we here at the full power podcast don't necessarily hold toriyama's word for the gospel no more they'll probably fucking rewrite that part when they get there and thank you for bringing that up because that's the other thing that i wanted to talk to you guys about today on this episode updated is that retcons yeah retcon, retcon. okay oh that's that good shit 